<clears throat> testing, testing, testing. Why is that so loud? Okay. I need to change today's caption. Today is Sunday, August 21. Oops. All right. Are we live? Still Captain. Have to, we've got sound. All righty. It's Sunday, 7.05 a.m., August 21. I didn't shave yet. And i um, going to do my 15-minute push on a, a side project that's different from the weekly project. Um, I'm working on... Uh, something called Metalsmith, which is a static website generator. Don't know exactly how it works, so I am pushing on it 15 minutes at a time. And we'll see how that goes. So where I last left off was, I remembered how this thing worked again by looking at my old notes from April. And let me just get that running again. Let's see, MAMP. I think MAMP was required. No, MAMP is not required. I need to pull up the terminal. <laughs> I didn't do anything since yesterday. Um, and I'm in the right this directory. My dscom metal directory. And uh, I run it by doing running Node.js, which is the web server slash uh, build environment and running the script called build. Oops. Oh, it is wrong. It's node dot dash build. <coughs> no such, oh, okay, I had this, this is where I had that bug. Um, I'm trying to use something called a website page template. And there's a couple, of, there's a few common engines. Um, the one that I was looking at was one called Jade. And from what I understand, Jade is kind of like a stripped-down HTML. So I think I tried to make it work yesterday without reading any documentation. So I think today I will have to start reading documentation. And then I set my 15-minute timer. Boom. And this is going to be weird because I keep thinking this, like, reading documentation is... is uh, doesn't feel productive a lot of the time. It's a necessary evil. And also I get really angry at bad documentation. <clears throat> but let's see if I can like just swallow this for 15 minutes. So it looks like Jade. Its claim to fame seems to be getting rid of angle brackets. Is it uses indents for structure? Is white space in a, uh, yeah, where is it's kind of closer to um, CSS and its declarations. It has a rudimentary conditional language, it looks like. Let's look at the language reference. Mixins, reusable blocks of jade, mixin list, mixin pet, now so they work as functions, name, class pet, how is it making the bind? No, plus pet, plus pet, what? What does this actually do? Oh, okay, this is a usage. So you invoke them with a plus sign. And it runs it in through. So the mix in list is the declaration. And then it just envelops that. And like pet is equal to name. All right. Hmm. But how do you implement it? How do you actually use it? You need to install Jade. 
How does that combine with Metal Smith, though? Since I'm unfamiliar with how Metal Smith works on a practical level, or just kind of the hands-on experience isn't there, I'm not sure where Metal Smith ends and where Jade begins. So it looks like there's a plug-in that will allow you to use Jade somehow, but how does it make the link between Jade and whatever it does? You need to install Jade separately? This makes no mention of it. There's a list of dependencies. Okay, Jade is one of the dependencies, so I must install it. Hamel. Node and browsers. Install Jade. Language, blah. Jade render. Metal Smith, the Jade example. How did people get anything done without the internet before? All oh, right, it sucked. This would have taken this what I just did by searching for it would have taken like three weeks in real time, back in the eighties. Smith with Jade. Let me read this line by line instead of skimming it. I made this site using a static site generator for several reasons of that ease of hosting. Jekyll, Pelican, Mendel Smith, a modular JavaScript solution, easy to extend. Um, documentation is poor, but the reason why I'm choosing it is because the underlying base system of Mendel Smith seems very, very powerful. <clears throat> and there's relatively fewer rules to know. So, uh, coming up with my own rule set, or coming up with best practices is really the, the challenge here. This, and this means understanding how the underlying technology works, which is always good for a technical person to understand, because this is what allows us to do the magic. Everyone else can just invoke you know, scripts, but if you can write them. Live renode, in rates, blah, encapsulates, blah. So there's Metalsmith markdown, includes templates with the jade part. I hope I'm skipping through this. Let me read this. Metal for Smith, that creates an object, and it returns a Metal Smith object from a starting directory, which is the current directory. It uses include, it uses markdown, it uses templates. So it passes everything in the current directory through include, markdown, template, build, or, um, that's the, that's, that's the gulp file. So it works with, with Metalsmith, even though they're not necessarily, it's not necessary to use gulp to use Metalsmith, I believe. Gulp is a task runner. The default one runs server and watch simultaneously, I think. Server browser sync init, what does that do? It takes a list of uh, file globs and a data object. What the browser sync does. Then there's a task watcher that watches these glob paths, which are probably the same as these. And when it watches it, if there's a change, it executes the build task, which is this, which just does a require metal smith. So here, okay. It's good that I looked through that. Place this handlebar with the elegant, concise jade as a template system. You must explicitly declare them options. Moment. Date manipulation library. Skip that. Module exports. Metalsmith. Returns Metalsmith. Dernname. It does all this stuff. Use templates. 
Ninja and Jade. I guess these are like... Uh... Oh, weird. So you can actually use Moment.js directly in the template. That's kind of neat. Wait, it didn't tell me how it worked. So why am I missing this layout JS thing? Where the hell did that come from in the original tutorial? This is just a bad, a bad tutorial. I was thinking that it had to, that this was actually part of a default template in Jade, but that might not be the case. Scan, scan, scan. Use Markdown. How does Wendell Smith know you which well, it was template article Jade? So this is a synthetic example that's not based on working code. That's the impression I'm getting. In the quest to explain, failing to have the explaining code actually function is a big no-no in technical writing, in my opinion. But everybody does it. In this case, it might be it's just been an oversight, because this is an actual coder, not some technical writer who doesn't know anything about the technology. So let's see. Template. Here's the metadata for this file is... What is this? Content. There's a contents block content. There must be a layout jade someplace. I am missing something. You would think that jade would have some default templates in it, though. If it was... Let's see, let's look into the node modules directory. I have this set so it doesn't erase them. So, what was it, jade? Let's see if Jade has some default templates in it. This is the actual runtime code. I don't know if you can see what I'm looking on. Let me move this over here. Make this bigger. So what I'm looking for are something like templates are built into this, but I don't see anything. Let's make sure there's no... Nope. So that's not the case. Um, jade templates. Is there a jade default template? Probably. It could be, there could not be. Extends. Here's layout jade. Oh, is this all it is? So it's, oh, it's basically an HTML shell, and then the extension. Where does this tell it to go? Block title. All right, so title is okay. You define blocks, and this gets replaced. Title, title, and then block con. All right, that's fairly straightforward. Let's just use this, and let's make a layout Jade file. Save this. See what I did there? It doesn't look like it understands. I don't have a syntax thing for uh, Jade, it looks like. Uh, what is it? Where's the build system? The uh, It's called Package Manager, Package Control. <coughs> is there a Jade one? Jade snippets. Hmm, Bootstrap 3 Jade snippets. That sounds intriguing. <coughs> that could be useful for my <coughs> other project work. If we use Jade instead of HTML, that could be much faster. Hmm. But I just think I installed 
Jade. Do I, did, did I install Jade? Save. Okay, now it's all syntax colored. All right, so here is HTML head body content. Article Jade extends layout Jade. Here's layout Jade's on the left. Here's the extension, it block content. Block content is here and it will insert H1 title. Oops. So that should run.
It looks like I lost audio on this for a who knows how long. Oh well. I'll fix that tomorrow. Just sign out. Bye.